Hey, I'm Scotty, and I'm going to show you how to sketch this lady walking her dog using a really simple ink and watercolor sketching technique. So we're going to start a little bit left from center at the top, and we're starting with the main shape of her head. So let's go around that top, make it a round sphere here at the top. We're coming down the side where that black uh, scarf is covering the back of her head. And on this side, let's come around this side of the suet. So we're going diagonally down, and then we're coming around like this for that hair that's wrapping around there. That's the basic shape there. But I want to finish off a few shapes in there so that we can measure off for the rest of the body, so we have it in proportion. So up the top here, we're coming from the middle, has this hairline there like that, and then we're drawing the face shape. So let's just get that in to the forehead. Then we're coming down here. There's about two thirds on this side to a third covered up there. And then we're coming down, and I'd say we're coming down to about there. That's the chin. So just come out to the side here and then back down to this point here. And then we're going up this way. Chin has a nice shape there. Okay, so now we have the face. So sometimes I just go through all the main shapes, but this one I'm going to add in the face here. So a little bit to the left, two dots, a third down from that hairline. The top and then two dots here, another third down. So that helps us to structure the face. So now that these dots here, we've got the, the distance between the eyebrows. So we're going to put one eyebrow here and one eyebrow here. And then we just focus on the bottom of the nose here on those other two dots, between those other two dots. Okay, and then a little bit up there and on the side. Then we're going to do the eye. So we come up from the side of the eye, a dot here, and the other side is, sorry, the side of the nose, and then the side of the other nose, put a dot there. So that's the two corners of the eyes, about two thirds up. So the eye, we go up, one line up, and then one line across like this. And she's got very eye eyelashes. So oh, I think this one needs to come a bit closer. So that gap between there is about the width of the nose. And then let's add the other side of her eye lashes. And we'll make them nice and thick here. And then right in the middle where we think that iris is, let's put a dot just to, just, just to check where she's looking. And then you can expand that dot to fill. And you just have to stop when you think it looks right. So I'm going to stop there. Um, we can play with that a bit later. But now this is a little bit of a change in direction here. So I didn't do this accurately as I sketched the outline, but let's put that in now. And I'm going to thicken up the eyebrow and this eyebrow. And so down on the side of this side of the nose, we'll put a dot halfway and then another dot on this side, just wider than the, um, just wider than the nose there like that. And the split between the lips there, like that. And then a little line underneath. Relatively happy with that very small face. Just connecting that out a bit like that. And then we can imply that there's a hood in the back and some of the hair up to this point too. Now the neck, neck's important and a scarf. We can just draw that shape down, coming down like this now, wrapping around there. Okay, I spent a lot of time trying to work out this head, and I think it's very important for such a long figure. So I hope you've got those shapes. Now we hope to make everything in proportion to that head. We're going to break down these shapes as we go and then check with our proportions. Okay, so we've got the shoulder here, and we're coming across, and there's another shoulder here, this little shoulder pad things. And then we come up here, and we can see that the, the scarf goes behind there. And we can add in the this big shape here, and that is the scarf. And on this side, just up and down. So about two head lengths, I'd say about two head lengths, we're coming down, so that's about one, two, just approximate, and it's a bit narrower in here to waist. So now we're coming down like this, and on this side, we're coming in like this. We've got this belt here, so I'm just outlining the shapes in one line. Nice loose lines like that. And I'll come in here just so we can see the form. So the shoulder actually comes in like this. There's some lines in there. And that's where the shoulder comes out and comes down there. Okay, and the other arm will come out like this. Come somewhere like that. So the next main shape is this, the next sec section of the jacket. And so that's about one and a half of these top sections. So let's go down. That's about one and about half. So it comes down to about there. So you can see here it comes, will come out to the same thickness here. So come out this way, but they're just, just above the dot there and then out this way, down like this. And then you can see it comes out again there, it comes like this. So that's the basic shape that we're drawing. Now this is where we can check the proportions because we want her, her crotch or her legs attached to the torso. That should be about three heads down. So I measure the top from her head down from her shoulders, three heads, one, two, so about here, okay? So when that line's coming down here, this, this split line down here, we can use the folds like this. So that shows us that's where the leg is turning on the body. Okay, and then from that point, from the shoulders to the crotch, we can double that down and put a point here 
just above the top of the ankles there. So that's probably where that boot comes to. And then on the other side, a bit higher up because she's got that back leg walking a bit further back. Now I've used a bit of proportions just to get the, the length right. So now we're coming down that same way and we've got this leg here. And on the other side, this. And then here, we're coming over here. We're creating that negative shape, that little triangle there. So no point. now we have the legs, we can do the boots. So about two thirds of a head, so about from the eyebrows to the chin, that's about where the, the ankle should be, or the heel should be, sorry. And But she's got these big high heels, so let's draw the shoes as if it doesn't have those high heels. And we're just drawing a foot. It comes down, pointing her toes, like this, so we've got a bit of a toe there. It comes at this angle, and it comes back up around her foot, and then arches up. But now let's draw that heel in, the high heel. We can draw the bottom of the shoe. And then we'll draw a little bit of a crease here, and a crease here. Show us that it is a shoe and then it's bending. So now again we go about two thirds of a face to about there and that's the back of the heel. And let's draw the front. It turns quite sharply here. Down, flat across there, around the, the front of the foot and then comes up. But then we've got that amazingly high heel there and it comes up like that. Once again, we can do a little mark like that. A little mark like that. Just shows that the leather's bending. Very simple little subtle shapes. Okay, so now we're doing the arms. We've got the crotch here. We can come across from the crotch and that is where the wrist is. And on the other arm like there, it's here, okay? So, but the end of the sleeve comes a bit lower than that. So as we go down, even though it's not in the reference, I might just add a little bit of a kink there just to make it obvious what it is. We're coming down this side. Now this jacket's very flop, very baggy. So it's just a little bit tricky. There we go. I tried to make it a bit slimmer here so I can see the arm moving. And that's the end of the jacket there. And then same on this side, halfway between the wrist and the shoulder is the elbow. So I might actually exaggerate that just so you can see it. A little bit of a crease there. And then we come back down. So I'm slightly turning that. Coming below where the wrist is because of the sleeve. Now we can see here it looks like they're her hands because that's where her fingers are popping out. So we'll do this side first. And just looking at some of those shapes. So finger coming out there like that. And outline this bag here. On the other side another finger's popping out here. And so finger. You'll be able to see that better when I've painted that. We'll do we'll do a bit more details at the end. So the dog. So I would love the dog's head to be here and I'd love his foot to come down there. I'm looking at the total height and then I can see that his head's about a third of that total height. So about to there. So that's where I'm going to start. Just putting in the head. I usually put the head in or the main feature in so I can compare. So let's just draw the silhouette shapes that I can see of the dog. So that's the ear coming down there. And then there's a the nose here comes down and I'm just trying to get that shape of the head okay so maybe I should have made it a bit lower there okay we'll see how that turns out okay so that's the shape of the head now now the back so I would say that to where his tail is we can draw from about there the ear across about a head and a half so let's draw that so one head and a half and then it comes down like this and come down the other side like this so I'm not probably going to hit this point here um, so it's going to be a bit further back here and we come down, that was that point there where the fur comes in this way. And then we've got the, there, that comes up. And then we've got another foot looking at that negative space there and just looking at that outline. So I'm not considering the atomy of a dog here, I'm just looking at the shapes. Now this, this comes up here, we can see the fur comes straight up to there, so about here. So let's draw that and then it comes around like this. And I'm looking at this negative shape again and the other foot comes in here, so it comes at an angle comes back and then we've got that fur there. So I will add little foot details there so you can see that it's a foot like that. And there's something else going on behind there but we can't really see it so I'm just suggesting what's going on. And then we can fur just little lines like this and then the tail. So how far the tail? About a head. And then you've got this nice fur coming up to this point. And, and then just to describe the form you can see there's some nice lines here in the fur which help that we don't have to draw all the hair or anything it's just suggesting the form of this what we're going to do is start with the eyes and then move down to the nose so we put a point here on the side just like i did with the with the lady we've got two points just the distance between the eyes we're using dots and then we can go across and say that's where his width of the eye with this dog it looks like the the distance between the eyes is about equal to the width of an eye so we've got that one eye there let's put the other eye in one eye there like that then we're coming down from this point, I can see that the snout 
comes from the corner of the eye to the front like that. Almost the same distance from the back of the head to there, but the eyes to the nose is the same. So that's what I'm looking at there, with that shape. This, and then this. From the middle of the nose you come down like this, and you've got the mouth here. Okay, now it makes a bit more sense in there. And we can put some nice little lines here around the eye. Gives him more character. And then just here to show the head turns. And that's the ear at the back there. And maybe in the corner of the mouth here. Now I'm going to make up the fact that it has a collar. So let's put that in there. And then from here, then we've got a nice lead. Uh, now we can go back and add a little bit more detail. Belt here, buttons. And then down here, we'll add another one here like this. Okay, I'm happy with the line work. Now we're going to add some watercolor. Just a really light watercolor wash. Burnt Sienna. So I'll start off with the skin so we can get that nice and clean at the beginning. I'm just going to do the fingers. Leave a little bit of white on that right hand side. Now I'll stay away from that area for a bit and I'll do the jacket. That's a nice big shape we can do. With this one I'll go for my bigger brush. The way I'm going to do it is that I'll start from the top, make it a variegated wash. So we'll add a little bit of rose into this yellow ochre. So starting with yellow ochre, there is nice wrinkles down here, but there's lots of highlight. You see this white on this side as well. A bit more red to it. You could use red. Mix that in. It's coming down. And then just around this side, which is there, and around here. So now I'm going to do the scarf. A, an ultramarine going into black. So let's get the ultramarine. On the, I'm starting on the right hand side because that's where the sun is. Paints grey and mix it in there, there. I'm bringing this paints grey across. Paints grey up here. And then let's go a little bit more crazy with the ultramarine in there and bring that down. Okay, burnt umber. Then we're coming down. Get some of that Payne's Grey and mix it in. Now I'm going to go very strong Payne's Grey. And we're doing the purse on the top here. Down this way. Just around the eyes maybe. Permanent rose. No, I've just made up that collar, but I think that will work. Before I get into the details, I actually should do some shadows. So instead of mixing ultramarine and rose, today I'm going to be doing a purple lake. Around the eyes here. Um, under the nose. Across the cheek here where the shadow comes from the hair. Shadow there. And this shadow is here. Such a light colour. Come down on this side and then under this one. This arm here. Maybe we can just add a little bit here. Shadows on this side for sure down here. Okay, now we're going into the proper detail and I'll get a nice dob of ultramarine there. So just add this. Dry the brush a lot on that and then we can add some texture there too. And then seeing those darker shadow bits, we can add some detail. A whole brush, soak up the rest of that and then there we go. Whoa! Okay, I didn't mean that much, but that could look good. A little bit more of this ultramarine here. And that's like the ground. Okay, Posca pen with a fine tip. Light hitting from this end. And there's little bits where it didn't leave any highlights. There's an edge like this. Maybe there might be a little bit of a highlight there. And here, actually, with the fur, that would be a great way of seeing some of that, wouldn't it? Well, I really enjoy this sketch. I'm happy with the way she's moving and the, the dog especially. Um, but I'm curious, what do you think of this sketch? What do you think of the process? If you want some help with drawing people, uh, please join my Patreon because I've got fundamental tutorials there which will help you out. I've also got the full version of this tutorial with the template and the reference there for you to download to help you out and sketch along. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.